Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Massachusetts, where a sovereign citizen attempts the right to travel argument with the local authorities after turning in several declarations with the local authorities, pretty much stating that the laws don't apply to him. And, well, he gets pulled over in this case, and it doesn't exactly work out too well for him. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy laughing at this total moron. All right, guys, you know what's up? Right to Thank you. Thank you. Could you sign that, please? I'm sorry? Could you sign that for a minute, please? No, I can't. One moment. You need your visual license, though. Yes, all right, guys, you guys know what's up. Right to travel. This officer is unaware that we have the right to travel. No one said that you don't have the right to travel, especially this police officer. It's just that operating a motor vehicle on the public roadways is a privilege, not a right, because, well, those things can be quite dangerous if not used properly, and especially in the wrong hands, yeah, are quite, quite dangerous. But at any rate, the uh, type of travel in the uh, Constitution that's really mentioned is interstate travel, going from state to state. That is often what is confused with what you are trying to uh, pull right here, dude. So give it up. I'm going to try my best to inform him to avoid a lawsuit. You have a license to operate your motor vehicle, as well as a, motor, as well as a license. So do you have your license with you? Well, sir, I have this. Okay, you need you need a Massachusetts driver's license, and you need to have your vehicle. Yeah, uh, this will tell you what a motor vehicle is, and this is not a motor vehicle. It's a private automobile. Yep, it's a motor vehicle. It's a private automobile. Uh, it's a motor vehicle. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but this is a federal uh definition, not a state level definition. And if you go down to the state level, this is what Massachusetts defines as a motor vehicle, which I am sure any good lawyer would tell you to look up the definitions within your own state. That way you make sure that you don't uh, fuck around and find out like you did right here. Because, you know, Tenth Amendment and everything like that. Did you even bother to research the uh, Tenth Amendment at all and the repercussions of that? You know, granting the states the right to create laws that govern themselves? I mean, isn't that part of how this country works? Civics lessons and everything like that? Civics, man! Civics! Look it up! Alright, sir. I'm gonna read this out loud for you. Motor vehicle. Hey, Nancy. It means every description of a carriage or other conveyance propelled, drawn by mechanical power or and used for commercial purposes on the highways in transportation of passengers, passengers and property, or property and cargo. Used for commercial purposes okay. means the carriage of persons or property for any fair rate fee, fair fee, rates, charge, or other consideration, or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertaking intended for profit. Where did you get that last part of it at? Out of your ass? Because I've never heard any other soft hard uh, spewed out before, so therefore, that must be the origin of it. So if that's the case, I suggest you take this to the judge and let them determine whether or not you're right or not. Basically, basically, take it through the court system, you dumbass, not the law enforcement officers, which is where you definitely effed up here. That's a motor vehicle. This is not a motor vehicle. Not for hire. Did you see that on the back? Just be advised he's refusing to identify himself. Uh, you never asked me for any identification. Yes, I did. I asked you for your motor. You asked me for a license, not an ID. Okay, do you have an ID with you? I'm not required to have one. Yes, you are. Yeah, according to Massachusetts law, you are most certainly required to uh, present your driver's license. According to, according to general laws, Part 1, Title 14, Chapter 90, Section 25, you are most certainly required to do so. So, Mr. Law Wizard, uh, what else you got for us? No, I'm not. You're required to have a license to operate your motor vehicle in the state of Massachusetts. I'm sorry, sir, but you're incorrect. No, I'm not. 
This is why I'm trying to give you the information, man. 100 federal funds for you. Avoid the lawsuit. You need a you need a, a driver's license as well as your vehicle to be registered. I'm not even a driver, man. I'm a traveler. Okay. You're operating your motor vehicle. I'm not operating. You're operating. I'm not vehicle. operating. Operating is a commercial term. I am not operating. I'm not a driver. <laughs> and I you know what, soft heart? Uh, just for shits and giggles, uh, let's just use Black's Law Dictionary against you in this case because. Uh, Black's Law Dictionary would definitely disagree with you on on the bullshit that you're pulling out of your ass right now. Uh, according to uh, Black's Law Dictionary, driver is one employed in conducting or operating a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with a horse, mules, or other animals, or a bicycle, uh, tricycle, or motor car, though not a street or railroad car. But let's take a look at that word employed. Uh, Black's Law Dictionary also has a definition for that. And it says this signifies both the act of doing a thing and the thing being under contract or orders to do it. So as you can see, there is some wiggle room for the uh, definition of uh, employed to have a bit of commerce in it. But it doesn't mean that it's entirely a commercial term, you doofus, nor is driver a freaking commercial term, you dumbass. Now, in addition, every state has uh, driver's license classifications for non-commercial and commercial driver's licenses especially in Massachusetts, and here are two of the classifications right here. That's something else you really need to look up right there, dumbass. Because if it's as you say that uh, driving is a commercial term, then why does Massachusetts distinguish driver's licenses between non-commercial and commercial driver's licenses? If that were true, then why this? Yes, you are. No, I'm not, and I'm not in a motor vehicle either, so... Please yes. educate yourself, sir. Well, you're in a motor vehicle. Do you have a supervisor? Operating. I am the supervisor. Do you have your supervisor? There no, has to be I, someone I am above the, you. I am the your lieutenant, yeah, captain, yeah, I'm chief, I'm whatever. No, I'm the patrol. I've served your... Uh, I'm the patrol supervisor. You're required to juicy shits. operate your motor vehicle. With operate a, motor vehicle... Yeah. Commercial terms. Yep, you're oper you're required to. Uh, These are, this is a non-commercial vehicle. A registration plate on your vehicle. This is a non-commercial private own automobile, not engaged in any commerce. I'm not okay. required to have any license, registration, or force okay. insurance. You have some sort this of can explain it deeper. Uh, would you like to? Uh, you some, you you ID? Sir, do you have a name and badge number? Yes, I do. Could I have it, please? Yep, officer. Do you want to take me badge one zero nine? What is it? Officer, do you want to take me badge one zero nine? Do you have license registration? Do you mind Do you have your license and registration? Did you? Pronounce that again, please. On I'm not required to have that, sir. Yes, you are. If you'd like to educate yourself, this will inform you. Please take it. Avoid the lawsuit. I'm doing everything I can. So you guys, you guys arrest me, told me, take my shit. You'll be stealing my property. You'll be committing a crime. And yeah, actually, you, you need the you. state. What you guys are saying right now is mass fraud. Okay, and I have the case law. To identify yourself as an operator. Of well have I committed any crimes? Yes. What, what crime have I committed? You're refusing to identify yourself. That's not a crime? Yes, it is. No, it's not? Yes, it is. When do I have to identify myself, sir? When you're you know? pulled over. When so I'm, I'm what? I'm the supervisor here. Yeah. I'm you the sergeant. You're so required. you're just an order follower? You can go away then. You're required to produce identification. Um, only if I'm suspected of a crime or yeah. if I've committed an infraction, I would give it to you. you. Was I speeding? You have committed a motor vehicle violation. A your commercial not violation. Right. Not, a, not an infraction. Not registered and it's required to do so. Are you interested in my information at all? Yeah, I'm interested. Are you just going to do whatever tyrannical thing comes to your mind? I'm interested in you to produce your ID as I'm requesting that you do. Uh, I mean, I can give you my name and birthday if you'd like. If you want to write a ticket or something, but I mean, I didn't do anything to justify any tickets. So you did. What did I do? You are not operating a vehicle with a valid registration. You're refusing, uh, you're refusing to produce a, an ID. I'm not operating a vehicle, a motor vehicle. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. Yes, you are. And I'm not required to have a license, registration, insurance. 
you'd like to read this, sir, it will inform you guys. I say you gave a copy of this to your department, so you guys should more than know about You're this. You're required to produce a license when you are requested to do so. I'm not, actually. Yes, you are. You're incorrect, sir. Okay. Well, Did you I... serve in the military at all? What does that have to How do How about you? That? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Did you, sir? You're required to produce an ID. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution, please? Produce your Answer your I can guarantee you that they're not oath breakers because they are defending the Constitution and the Tenth Amendment, which is in the Constitution, guarantees the states the right to create laws to govern themselves. And this happens to be a traffic law, which the uh, states have every right to take up on their own because of the Constitution, the U.S. Constitution. So, no, they are not oath breakers, you gibbering idiot. Question. Answer the license. question. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Are you going to produce a driver's license? How about you, sir? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? How about your driver's license? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Let me see your driver's license. No, that's my Fourth Amendment. Uh, how can you be so damn stupid, dude? Your driver's license is not your personal property. It is something issued to you by the state to ensure that, well, you are safe enough to operate a motor vehicle on the public roadways. It is not yours to keep. In fact, they can take it away from you, uh, as I'm sure they will if you actually possess one, because, well, you're just too damn stupid to figure out the laws for yourself. Your Have license. I committed a crime? Yes. What crime? You're operating on a public way with no license. Plate. Not operating, sir. You're incorrect. You were operating in and motor vehicle. And motivate traffic public. violations aren't crimes, by on the way. A public way. And I got the case law that proves that. Yeah, public ways are meant for the yeah. public. Oh, well, you're filling you're filling out Private. identify yourself and produce your uh, I will license. identify myself. No, if you guys want to, to write if you guys would like to write me a ticket or issue some sort of yeah. shit, I will give you my name and, and okay. birth date. But that's all I'm gonna give you because I'm not required to have an ID yes, or are. a license or registration or insurance for this vehicle. This is a private vehicle, not engaged in commerce, not operating, not a motor vehicle. This will explain it to you. I gave a copy to you guys' department. If you just take it and look, I'm sure you would agree. All you got to do is look. The information is right here at your fingertips. Are you going to produce your your, uh, mass, your driver's license as required? Are you going to produce your driver's am I, license as am required? Am I a driver? Yes, you are. I am. Yep. How am I driving? What makes me a driver? You're operating a motor vehicle on a public way in this in I'm not operating. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not operating. You, you were operating. No, I'm not. I'm traveling. Okay. There's a difference. There's a big difference. Yeah. All right. This is your last chance, sir. Do you, yep. do you, you have your produce? license? Are you threatening me with violence, sir? Nope. You're, Are you going to produce your license? You're gonna, this is your last chance to produce your license. I don't have to give a license, yes, sir. You do. You do. No, no, I don't. Step out. All right. All right. I'm easy. All right. No problem. No problem. Guess you turned yourself a lawsuit. Too bad. Well, yeah, dumbass. They arrested you because you of your failure to ID, your failure to have insurance, your failure to have a registration, which I presented evidence to you in this video showing you that you were supposed to have it per the Massachusetts uh, statutes, which are laws. Despite what you may think, I mean, welcome to reality, douchebag. And speaking of reality, you're going to be in for a big, rude awakening when this makes it to the judge and uh, it doesn't exactly go your way. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?